What is up everybody, Jester here, and I know that's not the most emphatic opening I've ever done for a video, but today's got kind of a different vibe to it, because I want to do some talking about another game, and another company, and I want to talk a little bit about Rocket League, and Epic Games, but don't worry, in the end, I'm going to bring it back to No Man's Sky, and why we're so lucky to have this game. So, buckle your seatbelt, let's get into it. I don't talk about this very often, but I've been playing Rocket League for over five years, kind of off and on with friends and that's how I was introduced to the game was with friends and I still feel like it's one of the most mechanically challenging and unique games you can possibly play it, it's it's a lot of fun especially if you're on voice comms with your buddies and it's a pretty good time and I've also partaken in the trading and that's why on October 10th 2023 I was just as shocked as everybody else in the Rocket League community hell I was even compelled to make a video on it and I don't cover Rocket League I'll just read the top blurb for you. Player to player trading will be removed from Rocket League on December 5th at 4 p.m. We're making this change to align with Epic's overall approach to game cosmetics and item shop policies, where items aren't tradable, transferable, or sellable. This opens up future plans for some Rocket League vehicles to come to other Epic games over time, supporting cross game ownership. Needless to say, this led to a nasty backlash from the Rocket League community. How, how dare you take something away from us that makes our game unique? And uh, you didn't even announce why, other than it just, it fits our core values when it comes to how we sell. Now, I'm going to be the first one to tell you, this is a semi-direct response to all the YouTubers that were out there pushing third-party websites that were technically illegal the entire time. And those people didn't care about their communities enough to not recommend them. They were just trying to take the money. Well, now you don't have any of those sponsorship guys, and I think you're halfway responsible for this at the very least. Either way, within about a week, a leak came out that said they wanted to do some kind of racing game in Rocket League, and the community was still stewing at this point. I mean, the memes were unbelievable about taking out the ball and taking out training because it made people too good. It was, it was a great time if you love memes. It wasn't until December 2nd that they actually announced what they were doing, even though it was already leaked, and they announced Rocket Racing. Rocket Racing is a supersonic arcade racer where players drift, fly, and boost with friends through an ever-growing selection of tracks. Rocket Racing is developed by Psyonix, the visionary team behind Rocket League, and will be available to play on December 8th, 2023. So they only gave six days notice that this was coming out uh, in Fortnite with an E rating to keep up with Rocket Racing, blah, blah, blah. And true to their word, December 5th marked the day that player-to-player -player trading truly died. And then December 8th, Rocket Racing premiered in Fortnite. Now, this is particularly offensive to me because the Rocket League community has been screaming for years, hey, give us some new content, give us something new to do. Instead of just new cars and new skins and everything else, we want a new mode. And yet, they gave it to us. It's just in Fortnite. And the first thing that I'm going to tell you is that Rocket Racing has not been that well received. Yes, there's almost 100,000 people playing the game, but look at the numbers on the other modes. Look at all the other numbers. I had hoped to bring you footage of me and my buddies playing this for the first time, but unfortunately that got corrupted. So you're just going to have to deal with some stock footage here. And uh, I got to be honest with you, that first night it was a whole lot of fun. But I think the reason that it was a whole lot of fun was mostly because I was playing with friends. And I think any game is better when playing with friends. It's just the nature of gaming, it's the nature of humanity. This game on the surface really has no mechanics like Rocket League does. It has nothing that really says, hey, I've got to go play this. This could have been a standalone game if we're being bluntly honest. It really could have. It could have been a Rocket League meets Trackmania-esque type of game. And I think they would have really been onto something. But uh, as it stands, there's nothing really that screams Rocket League about me. And you'll notice people bounce off the walls and everything else, and they don't seem to slow down. So like it, it, the mechanics really need to be worked on. I feel like this was pushed out really, really quickly. It's just a little bit disappointing that they did this to the community, and then they put this as the thing and the result of what you're gonna get. It, it just, it kind of was a slap in the face if you ask me. Not to mention that you're supposed to have your entire Rocket League inventory available to customize your car in Rocket Racing, and I have yet to see that, even a little bit. My car that I use for Rocket League, not even remotely there. I was in an Octane, which is not the car that I use. But the real reason why they did this became pretty clear just another day later. 
you need only to load into Rocket League and go to the item shop to see the brand new thing they have just introduced, which is this new car called the Diesel. And for the low, low price of $39, you would have access to all the different colored car bodies. Now we're starting to understand why they're doing what they're doing. We can't possibly trade to get these different colors anymore. You have to buy them and Epic Games gets to set the market. Hell, they weren't even really subtle about this. They didn't just say, hey, we're gonna put the new car in the shop for these little featured shops. They didn't do that at all, where you could just buy the regular car for say three or five dollars. No, 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 no. Forty dollars, but you get the set. So there you go, creators. If you wanna spend 40 bucks on a video or multiple videos, now you still have the option. And I told you folks, even though I was gonna rant a little bit about Rocket League and Epic Games, that we were gonna tie it back into No Man's Sky. And this is where it starts. All you really need to do is go look at the release log for No Man's Sky and start scrolling down. Because every last one of these updates has one thing in common. Every last one of them from day one. And that is none of them cost a dime. And that I think is an absolute testament to Sean Murray, Hello Games, and anybody that's worked on No Man's Sky. These guys are doing it because they love the video game. They're not doing it on a get rich quick scheme like Epic Game treats everything or so many of these other companies treat everything. It's just so blatant with Epic Games right now that I couldn't help but point this out. Even if Hello Games came out and said, hey, for No Man's Sky, we're gonna, we're gonna give you an option for a $20 pack for Quicksilver so you can buy up some of those things. I would do it in a heartbeat because it still supports the game. I mean, a quick story, I discovered No Man's Sky on Xbox and it was completely free to play, completely free to play. I ended up purchasing this game one time for PC and they have never asked me for another dime. They've never tried to milk me for another dime. And I don't think they get nearly the credit they should get for that fact. They're doing it like no other company is doing it. And even with the flaws in the game, and yes, I'm one of those people that points out when an upgrade doesn't work like it's supposed to. And sometimes you have to step back and see how the rest of the world's working for that to actually mean something that it's all been free. And I wish they would give us more ways to support, but they've said no. So kudos and thank you guys at Hello Games for a wonderful, wonderful 2023. And here's to the future. I hope Light No Fire is an absolute, absolute banger of a game. And I got a funny feeling that it will be because I think you guys do it right. I think you're making games for gamers by gamers and that's the way it should be. It should never be about the money. If the game is right, the money will come. You don't have to extort money from your fan base. But that's about all I got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a different format, but I did have fun making it. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel because we got tons more coming real, real soon. And until next time, folks, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.